for my reverse crunch, we can think of this like a normal crunch, again, in reverse, <laughs> hence the name, right? So nice and slow, I'm gonna curl my hips off the ground and then come back down. Again, slow, slow, slow. If we do fast, we get that momentum involved. It's not using that core as much, not honing that rib to hip connection. So as I lay down, nice and flat on the ground, feet can come up and I'm gonna curl one vertebrae at a time and come back down. Hands can face up is a little bit more challenging, right? Hands down, you have a little leverage. We can press into the ground a little bit. One vertebrae at a time, peel it off the ground and then come back down. To get this a little more challenging, as I come back down, I'm gonna extend out, curl in, one vertebrae, and extend. Again, slow, slow, slow. If we get momentum involved, we're not gonna be using as much core as if we keep that slow and controlled the entire time.